Also happening this weekend, the Sprint Center turns into a Jurassic World where dinosaurs take over the stage. But pulling off the show isn't as easy as throwing a costume on a few actors. 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan brings us behind the scenes look at how these dinosaurs come to life. So they let me get behind the controls of what a dino tier, not a puppet tier, but a dino tier controls when they're inside that uh, costume on stage. Before it even got to this point, the Jurassic World Live Tour held auditions where about 1,100 people tried out to get their chance to put their hands on these controls. And they actually started the auditions with miniature puppets, kind of grew from there over a weeks and months long uh, workshop and a rehearsal program. And so one of the things that they would do is have the performers learn how to breathe or sniff, bark, and go out and then growl. And I we also got an inside look at how they build see, these, you know, see. even working with the rights from NBC Universal to get the uh, exact motions that these dinosaurs had in the original movies so that those come to life on stage here. And then a big reveal, we saw what one of these dinosaurs looks like. <laughs> we got to meet Blue, the velociraptor made famous in a lot of the, the more recent uh, Jurassic World uh, movies. And tell you what, the performers are excited. This is truly been a dream come true. I get to play a dinosaur, I get to hiss at people, I get to get pet by people. It is the most rewarding job I've had to date. So not all the dinosaurs you'll see this weekend are controlled in this same way with a person inside of the costume. For example, the T-Rex that makes a big appearance is actually controlled with the remote control. Two people controlling it, one moving her and one animating it. Reporting at the Sprint Center, I'm Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News. That's pretty cool. Performances started today. They continue tomorrow and Sunday at Sprint Center. Tickets as low as $15.